everyone. So depending on who you are, some bad or good news just dropped about the much anticipated Adult Aang movie. And even if you think this news is bad, trust me, it's actually worse than you think. Sadly, the Adult Aang movie is being pushed back from its original October 10th, 2025 date, which had already been rumored to be pushed back months ago. More on that in this video. The good news is that the pushback isn't that far off. The bad news is the specific month that this is being released in, which I'll get into later. On the positive side, this means the creators get to have more time to polish the product, ensuring every element from the animation to storyline is top notch. And for a franchise as beloved as Avatar, it's crucial to get this right. But the negative side is pretty glaring on this one. So let me explain. If you're not familiar, the film industry has different outlooks on different time periods of the year. Most notable is the summer blockbuster season. This spans from May through July. Summer is prime time for releasing big budget action films, family friendly movies, and sequels to popular franchises. Schools are out and the weather is favorable, making it an ideal time for audiences to go to the movie theaters. This will be the perfect place to put the new Avatar movie, but Paramount had other ideas. Another favorable option for film studios is the holiday season from mid-November through the end of December. This period capitalizes on the US Thanksgiving and Christmas holiday season. It's a time when families are together and more likely to engage in group outings such as movie going. This period is also crucial for films aiming for Academy Awards consideration, as movies must release before the year's end to qualify. Sure, Avatar's original date of October doesn't fit exactly into this time frame, but movies typically stay in theaters for weeks or months, so it could have enjoyed some holiday success on the back end. But again, Paramount chose a different time period. There's also the early springtime period around February to April, where studios start to release these films that can attract audiences during spring breaks. It's not as competitive as the summer or holiday seasons, offering a good window for a variety of films, including horror, action, and family-oriented movies. Another potential good spot for Avatar, especially because it's not as competitive, but again, that is not the date that we got. Last, we have the fall prestige season from September to October, which is often when studios release their most artistic and serious films that are contenders for various awards. This season targets adult audiences looking for more deeper content after the summer's blockbuster fair. So clearly this would be a poor spot for Avatar. So again, Paramount did not choose a date within this time period. So of all the time periods I've just listed so far, did you notice any month that was missing? Don't worry, I'll wait. Okay, that's enough waiting. That's right, January was the only month not mentioned in any of those scenarios. And do you want to take a guess, just a, just, a, just a little wild guess, what the new date for the adult Avatar Aang movie is? January 30th, 2026. <sighs> Again, if you are not aware in the film industry, January is not typically the most coveted spot for premiering blockbuster movies, and here's why. Historically, this month has been seen as a dump month in the film industry. This is when studios often release films they're less confident about, either due to their commercial viability or their potential to snag awards. Right after the bustling holiday season, many folks are tightening their belts, less likely to splurge on movie tickets, which could mean lower box office numbers. Plus, the chilly weather can keep even the most devoted fans cozy at home. Then there's the award seasons. Films released in January miss the previous year's Oscar buzz and are a long wait from the next. This timing could impact the film's chances to make a splash during the awards circuit. So, yeah not looking too great for Avatar. One could say that all is not lost and Paramount does have some confidence in the movie since it's coming out near the end of January instead of the beginning. And as I described before, the end of January leaks into the golden zone of the spring break territory, but admittedly, that's a bit of a stretch. I think October was a much better spot for Avatar, and since they need more time, I think it would have been better to put this out in April or closer to the summer instead. But January? January is usually a dumping ground for Hollywood. 
It doesn't mean the movie will not be good, but it does mean that Paramount might not have such confidence in the movie's success. And this could diminish the potential commercial success of Avatar, which in my opinion, has been constantly attempting to break that glass ceiling into the stratosphere of the Star Wars, Harry Potters, and Marvels of the geek world. Also, there have been some sleeper hits to come out in January, such as Liam Neeson's Taken in 2009 and M. Night's Split in 2017, but none of them have been animated 2D movies. And even those live action movies were unlikely successes and very few and far between. But I want to hear from you all now that you have this information. What do you think about this shift to a January release for the new movie? Is it a strategic move to give the creators more time? Or should we be worried that it's being dumped into the dead zone month for Hollywood? Let me know in the comments below and check out this video on screen if you're a fan of Avatar. I'll catch you on the next one. And as always, peace, love, and remember, be water, my friends.